This is some comments I've been getting on my determinism videos. I've made those videos in response to Sabine Hassenfelder, who made a blog and a video last fall about determinism, where she said determinism is true, no question about it. Um, it's beyond all reasonable doubt for Hassenfelder. Uh, any other position is just simply not rational. So a very strong statement, but that kind of a strong statement is not unique to Hassenfelder. That's typical of people who are determinists. Uh, determinism is very popular today, and it goes back a long ways. Um, it goes back 200 plus years to Pierre Laplace, the great French mathematician. He was so taken with classical physics, Newtonian physics, that he figured, well, if we can predict how the cosmos go, how the planets go, maybe we can. We ought to be able to just be able to predict everything. If you had a big enough computer and you knew uh, the entire state of the universe, you could predict every future time. That doesn't just include planets, doesn't just include cannonballs, it includes everything. That includes us. So this idea of determinism means that we really don't have free will. We don't have free will. Every decision you make, everything you do, could have been predicted from the beginning of the universe. 13 billion years ago at the Big Bang, everything was determined in principle. If you had a computer and all the knowledge, you could have predicted the entire history of the universe. It all is simply playing out, just like those physics equations we learned in high school. Now, there's a big problem with this idea, and I've made several videos about this. There's several problems. One big problem is we experience free will all the time. We have evidence of free will, all of us, all the time. There is a mountain of evidence for free will. You go to the gas station, you make a decision, you look at the gas gauge, you look at the prices, you look at the different gas stations, where am I driving to? All those things, all those factors going through your mind, you're making a decision. Not according to this determinism. You feel like you're making a decision, but it, it, everything that I just talked about, that from the gas gauge to the traffic to the prices, the way the wind was blowing, the sun in your eyes, the glare on the windshield, everything was predetermined. It was all it could have been predicted from the Big Bang. Um, so this evidence, there is a mountain of evidence, is dismissed. Uh, the idea is that this evidence is, illusion, is an illusion. We feel it. It seems like we have free will, but it's an illusion. Now, they're not saying it might be an illusion. They're saying it is an illusion. It has to be. It must be. There's no question about it. And that's where things start to break down. Um, yes, maybe it is an illusion, but we don't know that. How do they know it? They don't. They don't make any argument for it. They simply assert it. So now this is a good segue into the first comment um, that I wanted to answer because I get a lot of comments like this. And here's one person responding saying, why would one not assert that the brain follows the laws of physics like everything else? It would be unscientific not to until we're proven otherwise. In other words, Determinism and the lack of free will is the default position. It's the default truth. Until you come up with some sort of a proof against it, it gets to be true. That would be the scientific thing to do, according to this commenter. No, it isn't the scientific thing to do. How can I explain this any simpler? We do not know that the brain follows the laws of physics. We do not know that. We do not have evidence for that. In fact, there is no scientific evidence for that. I'll go over that in a second. It would be unscientific to assume and assert that the brain follows the laws of physics like everything else. That would be making a claim outside of science. Science is not about making claims that are unsupported. That is uh, unscientific to make that sort of a claim. Okay, let me go to another comment here. Um, I got a lot of comments like this that, uh, who is this guy making these arguments against determinism? They're simply from personal incredulity. In other words, what this commenter is saying is that I'm just uh, arguing that I just don't understand. I can't believe this. 
this idea that everything is predictable from the Big Bang is just too big for me to get my head around. I just can't wrap my mind around this. I just can't believe it. I'm just wringing my hands about this. It must be false. No, this is not personal incredulity. This is science. I've gotten several other comments that said, gee, this guy doesn't understand, does not understand the science. No, I do understand the science. That's the problem. Let's look at the science and exactly what is it that we're talking about. This will help explain both of these comments. So the idea of determinism is that there are these natural laws driving the universe. These natural laws are what have, have done everything. The entire evolution, the entire everything that's in play since the Big Bang has been driven by natural laws such as gravity, electrostatics, Cool Coulomb's law, Ampere's law, Faraday's law, the weak nuclear force, the strong nuclear force, the first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, the third law, Newton's first law, Newton's second law, Newton's third law equals mc squared from of course Einstein. You get the idea, etc, etc. There are dozens of these natural laws and it is according to determinism these natural laws created the universe. What exactly are these natural laws? Well here's an example of the that first one, gravity, the law of universal gravity. The gravitational force is equal to a constant g multiplied by the two masses. You have two bodies that are attracted to each other. We're talking about the gravitational attraction between two bodies, so mass one times mass two divided by the distance between them squared. This is the inverse square law. Newton's law of universal gravity. The point here is it's a simple law. It's a very blunt tool. If you're going to construct a universe from natural laws, they better be up to the task. Well, the other laws are like this. They're very simple laws. There is no scientific evidence that these laws could write music, write books, and do things like that. Make all the decisions that we make on a daily basis. I'm not being facetious here. They have tried. The origin of the solar system, the origin of the earth-moon system, the origin of first life, the origin of the millions of species and all the diversity on Earth of the millions of species. The origins of our the human brain, which is incredibly complicated. The origins of consciousness, of the sensory experience that we have. And yes, the free will that we apparently we feel, we feel like we have. All of these things defy, have defied scientific explanation, and they have tried. Scientists have tried for centuries to use these natural laws to explain our world, and they have failed. Yes, we can explain cannonballs and battleships. We can explain the cause, how the planets uh, orbit the, uh, the sun and so forth, but the, uh, the majority of our experience here, here on Earth is not explained by these natural laws. So why do they get uh, uh, preference? Why, why, do we, why do determinists have such confidence in these natural laws when there is no scientific evidence? So I've been explaining that they are going too far by assuming that determinism is true and that therefore there must not be free will. They are making uh, over-the-top uh, judgments and claims in the absence of evidence. Now I'm explaining a little bit more about the weakness of this evidence and that there is no scientific evidence that has been presented. M maybe that will be presented sometime in the future. Maybe this will happen. But right now, according to today's science, this is not a good claim. And yet these people are supremely confident and I've been explaining these things on videos and getting comments like that from people. Why shouldn't we just assume it? he doesn't understand the science? He's making arguments from personal credulity. No, that's not the case. I do understand the science. Religion drives science and it matters.